What's important about, or what, what do we know about smooth muscle? No striations. It's from the autonomic, okay, it's, it's going to be controlled, not by us. It's involuntary. We're going to also find collagen and elastic tissue giving the vessels their ability to stretch, for example. The middle layer strengthens vessels. And the good thing about it in the arteries keeps them from rupturing because of that ability to expand and recoil. Their job Regulate the diameter of the blood vessel. Why do we need to do that? We need to be able to control the blood flow to areas of the body. And this is a way that we're going to be able to do that. The outer layer loose connective tissue might merge with another blood vessel close by, nerves or other organs. It anchors the vessel, helping to hold it in place. And then, hmm, let me think here for a second. The blood vessels are tissues. They need their own blood supply, just like the heart did. Remember how the heart had the coronary circulation? For the vessels, we got to have a blood supply to those. So they're going to have small vessels that actually feed their tissues. And this is called Vasa Vasorum. Sounds kind of weird, right? It's really cool though. So as we look at what's going to happen with the vessels. Got the heart. It leaves by way of the arteries. Travels, makes its way to capillary beds. The arteries meet the veins and return to the heart. As we leave the heart, the vessels are huge. Okay? That aorta leaving the heart is huge. Look at that structure. That is a thick, tough structure that is present in the aorta that's leaving the heart. It has to make sure that the blood that got pushed out of the heart remains enclosed. Look at the structure of that. Now, as we begin to move away from the heart and we begin to make it into these other areas of the body and we begin to make it to the tissues, we need that structure to lighten up. We need to keep it enclosed, okay? But by the time we get to this capillary bed, we need that structure to decrease, 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 decrease until we are only one layer thick. At the capillary beds, I need this structure to be 
that only for the most part. Why? Our exchange gases, nutrients, stuff, waste, because everything that's occurring in the body, it's occurring at the tissue level. So when my blood supply gets to those tissues, I need stuff to move out of that vessel and I need stuff to move in. So the capillaries, they're the hotbed, okay? That's where the action occurs. Now, arteries meet the veins. So as we return back to the heart, I need that structure to start getting thicker, 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 so I can get it returned to the heart. Does that make sense? So, this structure, it's pretty cool. With the arteries, we usually take them and classify them by size. The names of the arteries are the big ones, okay? When you hear something such as the brachial artery, the radial artery, the femoral artery, those are the big vessels that are visible, okay? We can't see the capillary beds, all right? They're microscopic. Don't know how many of them we might even have throughout the body. They're very strong, they're very resilient, we classify them by the size. The largest are called conducting. They are very elastic. They've got a lot of collagen, a lot of elastic tissue. <coughs> huge. They're huge. The aorta common carotid, subclavian, our pulmonary trunk, common iliac arteries. Then they begin to branch. Okay? They get to expand and recoil. The job, take this pressure that leaves the heart and as we let that blood travel, begin to decrease that pressure. Why? If you had that much pressure at a capillary bed, it would probably couldn't do its job effectively. It would not only not do its job effectively, it would burst. <coughs> so when my pressure leaving the heart, roughly 120 over 80, 120 millimeters of mercury. How heavy is mercury? Anybody got a periodic table? Sometimes it's good to be connected. A mercury cougar. I don't want the car. That's number 80 on the periodic table. Oh, well, that was just a number. You got a periodic table, Dustin? Yeah. Wow. 
200. Or it's time and wait. Ever play with mercuries? It's not a good idea. Okay? Isn't it fun? It really is. And, you know, let it roll around all over the table and everything. That 200 weight. And our heart beats hard enough to move that foot, move it. Think about that for a second. Okay? That's a huge pressure, all right, on these vessels. We need to decrease that pressure as it travels. So once we get past the large, okay, and we begin to move into the medium size, these are just distributing. Because they're taking the blood somewhere, okay? They're taking it to specific organs. Think about that descent as it leaves the heart, okay? And all of these organs that are here, it's got to take it to the liver, the kidneys, the pancreas, the stomach, the intestines, the... Got me? Got me, Drew? Okay? Brachial, femoral, renal, splenic. They have a lot of smooth muscle in these arteries. Once we get past big to medium, now to the small, arterioles are going to be the smallest. <coughs> They're going to control how much blood goes to tissues. Those are very important. But look at this one. Ring a bell. Yes. A sphincter. The sphincter police won't let me back. Y'all remember that from Pretty Woman? Are y'all familiar with that? Yes. Okay. All right. Because a sphincter controls opening and closing of something. The smallest we are at that little capillary bed, okay? As we reach that capillary bed, blood now gets to do the job. But we've got to control the blood to the capillary bed. You cannot feed every capillary bed in your body at one time. It is not going to happen. <coughs> Why? It only carries so much through. Once it feeds a certain capillary, it's been used and it has to be recirculated to be reactionated or nutrients. Well, it's not so much about how much of something it might be carrying, but it's about how much blood we have in the body. We don't have enough blood in the body at one time to feed every capillary bed. What am I telling you? 